Welcome to the Samuel Whitbread Library, where you can find accurate, relevant information to help you succeed at school. This short video will show you how to get the most out of your library. The library at Samuel Whitbread is home to over 10,000 books, many subscription and online journals, with a wide selection of DVDs, revision guides, local studies, and audiobooks. We also partner with the Public Library and can order you any resource available from across the Bedfordshire County Public Library stock. Our goal is to get the resource to you within two weeks. We've created an ever-expanding digital library. As we know, it's not just about paperback books. Go to the whole college on the school learning platform LP Plus and you'll see the tab for library. Click on the tab which will take you to library homepage. If you are logged on to a school computer, it will automatically log you into your library account. However, if you are at a home computer, you will need to log in. Your login will be your school username. For example, if you are a year 11 student, it will be 08 S. Cooper with a generic password of library, which you can change once you've logged in. If you experience any problems viewing this page, there is a help tab in the top right blue bar. Now let's go over how to use the library system. On the left hand side, where your picture will display under my account, you will see if you have any overdue books, which you can renew online or pass loans. Let's move on to the box below my account, entitled Author's Corner. Some of our books come with a video from the author, who talks about the book they wrote. By clicking on the film mural icon, a list of books with accompanying videos will appear. Click on one of these books, which will then appear in the center. Then click the film mural once more, and a film will appear. Wonga Turn is the middle book in a trilogy which centers on a, de a detective, private detective called Jackson Brody. Let's go back to the author's corner. Notice the blue icon of clapping hands. Click on the icon and a list of books will appear. These books are assigned for those with hearing impairment. If English is not your first language, we have an ever-expanding collection of foreign titles and can order more. Below the film reel, you will see a series of books. These books have been reviewed and rated by students and staff at our school. You can even put star ratings similar to Amazon. At the top right hand corner you will see the returns trolley which shows the books which have been returned. Below is the book of the week. Our news area updates students on what's happening in and around the library. There is anything from information on our online databases to quizzes. Finally and most importantly, Let's learn how to search the library system. Click on the search icon to see a series of pictures display. Icons range from topics such as history, science, to family and home. Let's click on the geography icon. You'll perhaps notice that we not only catalog books, but useful websites. To find the book you want, hover over its icon. Notice how a summary of the book appears and a number on the left hand side. This number will be on the side of the book. Click the compass icon below to find the shelf where the book is located. A map of the library appears, and the red flashing dot indicates where on the shelf it will be held. Don't forget to check if it's in or out on the right hand side. You may wish to search for a topic by typing in keywords or the title. I'm going to look for the book Twilight. Notice the categories which appear below. It often helps to click on one of these categories to ensure that you don't end up with thousands of results. If I hover over the book title, you will see three icons, linked items, read reviews, and what have other people read. Click on the linked items and you will see three books which come after Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. On the left hand side, you will see a variety of icons including books, the web, sign stories, film, and audio. You may click the icon to remove books from your search and only search websites. Above the library system, you will see a variety of icons in the blue bar. Click on About the Library. Each icon leads you to another page with useful information. By clicking on my picture in Meet the Staff, you can email me any queries. The References page has a video which shows you how to create a bibliography. Let's explore the bibliography feature in Microsoft Word 2007. A bibliography will ensure that your teacher knows where you found your information, so that you do not have to redo coursework due to plagiarism. The library has two clubs, a book versus film club and a book club. These clubs are really fun and a great way to meet new people. 
Our online resources is a compilation of websites I find particularly helpful for academic research. There is an online database we pay for called InfoTrack. Articles on this site are proofread, can be heard and translated into other languages, and loads more. The Gutenberg Project is another helpful site which has over 33,000 free online books to read. This video demonstrates basic principles of our virtual library. However, there's so much more to explore. If you have any questions, or if you can't find the information you need, don't hesitate to ask. I'm here to help.